Welcome back to the channel, it's Kiva here and today I'm going to teach you how to download and install the Downcraft mod pack for Minecraft in 2024. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to download and install Downcraft is to click on the second link in the description which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. CurseForge is a mod pack launcher that is going to allow us to load Downcraft into Minecraft. Now you can read through this guide and learn how to install CurseForge manually but I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. All you have to do is to scroll down, click where it says download CurseForge here. I'll redirect you to the curse force page and then here click where it says download a standalone of course you could always click where it says download options right here more download options and download it for mac or linux but we're gonna download this standalone for windows right now for this video once the installer downloaded go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop and now just launch the installer by double clicking on it once you open the installer this is what it's going to look like just go ahead and click next of course you could change the language but i'm going to leave it on english and go ahead and click next select that you accept the terms in here you could change the installation folder but in order to do that you have to launch the installer as an admin so you have to right click and launch as an admin we're just going to click that we accept the terms and privacy policy and then click next and wait for curseforge to install in here shouldn't take that long and while curseforge is installing i want to let you all know about today's sponsor apex hosting there is still time to get 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting using the first link in the description a server that is open 24 7 you could create either a java or a bedrock server have your friends join at any moment because this is a server that will be hosted completely online so you don't expose your ip address or your computer resources this is a server where you could install mod packs with just one click which is really useful especially when we're installing a mod pack in this video i'm gonna leave that first link in the description and now let's get back into the tutorial and as you can see curseforge has finished installing it just opened that probably happened because i already had curseforge installed however since this is the first time you're installing curseforge it's going to ask you to launch it and then you're gonna to have to launch it and once it opens it's probably gonna offer you a little tutorial which you could skip and then you're going to be on this screen where you're going to select a game in this case we're gonna mod minecraft or we're going to download a mod pack for minecraft so go ahead and select minecraft then that'll put you over here and now go ahead and head over to browse once over here in the browse section of course you could scroll down until you find downcraft sometimes you'll find it in here as you can see in here you can find it or if you don't see it in here you could always click on the search for minecraft project bar and then type downcraft press enter and then you have to get downcraft echoes of legend echoes is it echoes or echoes i don't know my english sucks it's this one right here by bstylia14 all credits to the creator this is a great mod pack actually so yeah all you have to do now to install it is click where it says install the mod pack will begin to install and you could always find it here where it says my mod packs now something to keep in mind is that every time you want to play this mod pack you're going to have to launch the curseforge app you won't be able to open this through your regular minecraft launcher as a matter of fact Whenever we try to play this mod pack right now, this is going to open a different Minecraft launcher. It looks the same as a regular Minecraft launcher, but it is like a separate instance that launches through CurseForge. When we launch that second Minecraft launcher through CurseForge, it's going to have us log in with our Minecraft account. Don't worry, this is totally safe to do. And this is something that most mod pack launchers will require you to do. Even if you install a mod pack through ModRint, you're still going to have to follow the same process. So just go ahead and wait for this mod pack to install. And then I'm going to show you what to do. Now, once the mod pack install, all you have to do is click on play right here in my mod packs. And that will open, like I said, a different Minecraft launcher. Now, guys, keep in mind that whenever you log in through this Minecraft launcher, you won't have to log in the next time. So you only have to log in the first time. Anytime you install a different mod pack through CurseForge, you won't have to log in again in here. Okay. Once in this Minecraft launcher, you will see the mod pack selected automatically in here. You can always head over to installations, click on these little three dots right next to your mod pack, and then click on edit click more options and then give the mod pack a little bit more RAM. So right here, as you can see, it says 4096 megabytes, which is equal to around four gigabytes of RAM. Some mod packs will request that you give it more RAM or rather than request, recommend that you give it more RAM, like five gigabytes, six gigabytes, but four gigabytes should be a sweet number for most mod packs. I don't recommend that you change this number unless you know what you're doing and you know how much RAM your computer has. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at four gigabytes. Let's go ahead and head back into here and to play this mod pack all we have to do is click on play and click that you understand the risk click play again and wait for the mod pack to launch once you're here in the main menu just go ahead and launch your world by clicking single player then name this whatever you want and create the new world there's actually a multiplayer server pack so you could actually do a server for downcraft by downloading that multiplayer server pack from curseforge if you would like a dedicated video for that let me know down in the comments and if multiple people request that video that might be a video that we do in the future Let's go ahead and wait for this world to create and I'll see you inside the game. Alrighty guys, so the world just loaded and as you can see we're here inside Downcraft and there's a snake behind us. But yeah guys, that is pretty much how to download and install this mod pack. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to install Downcraft. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.